Oh, dear, Thomas. That must be too many trucks for a little tank engine like you. Why don't you ask another engine to help you? I don't need any help. I can do this by myself. <laughs> Laugh if you like, Gordon. You always think I'm too small to do anything. But I'm going to go far. I'm... 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 Going to see the world one day. Just you wait and see. The little tank engine who wants to see the world. <laughs> Take a look around you, Thomas. This is your world. <laughs> still doing here. Uh, Thomas, you need to take these fish trucks to Vickers Town. They're very smelly. But if James is supposed to do that, sir, I'm supposed to take Annie and Clarabelle out on my branch line. James isn't here. We simply can't have these fish stinking up the yard any longer. Oh. Oh. And don't forget to bring me my coaches, Thomas. I mustn't keep my passengers waiting. Oh. All aboard! <laughs> Express coming through! Is Gordon pulling fish trucks? Fish trucks? Those fish trucks need to be taken to Vickers Town, and that's where Gordon is going. He's just being extra useful today. <laughs> fish Express coming through. <laughs> Somebody's got to be in the That's right, mate. I certainly am. Want to race? Race? No, Thomas. What a little race car like me against a big tank engine like you. <laughs> All right, mate. Ready, set. <laughs> oh, Did you 
you see that? Cinders and ashes! That was amazing! You can spin around in a complete circle! I wish I could do that. You mean a 360, mate? Well, what's stopping you? These rails. The only time I get to spin around is when I'm on the turntable. And that's not very fast. But you can do a 360! Oh, who are you? And what are you doing here? I've never seen you on soda before. Me? <laughs> Mate, my name's Ace. And I'm on a race around the world. Five cross-country valleys on five different continents. Wow! And is the first race here on Sodor? On Sodor? No, oh, don't be silly, mate. I'm here to catch a ship to get to the first race. Oh, that's so exciting. I've always wanted to see the world. Then why don't you? They do have rails in other countries, you know. Mate, you should do it. Free and easy. That's my motto. Uh, who knows? You could be the first railway engine to go all the way around the world. That's probably never been done before. Time to hang around here all day. I need to carry on with my speed trials. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. No, you don't. <laughs> Thomas! <laughs> Where are you going? I have passengers for you. Thomas! Oh. <laughs> Hello, little brother. Hello. Oh, what is that terrible smell? Is it you, Gordon? Are you pulling the flying kipper today? Or are those actually fish trucks at the back of your coaches? Fish trucks? Fish trucks? Oh, the indignity. Thomas! Ah, Thomas. Thank you for sorting out those fish trucks earlier. That was a great help. Not a problem, sir. Always happy to be really useful. <laughs> and, well, there is something else I wanted to talk to you about, sir. I've had an idea. How would you like it, sir, if one of your engines could be the first railway engine to go right round the world? Round the world? I've never heard of a railway engine going around the world. Yes, sir. I know, sir. It's probably never been done before. Oh, well, it would be a marvellous thing if it could be done, Thomas. But I doubt it's that easy. The world's not all one big railway, you know. There are oceans to cross, as well as deserts and jungles and mountains. But it would be a marvellous thing, wouldn't it, sir? Yes, Thomas, it would. <laughs> Oh, bother that telephone. If you can figure out a way of actually doing it. Yes, sir. I can. Uh, hello? Um, have you seen Thomas, Percy? He didn't wait for my passengers today. Thomas? Thomas left Annie and Clarabel in the yard, but I don't know where he went after that. Thomas! Where is Thomas? He coupled fish trucks to the back of the express today. Just wait until I catch up with him. Has anybody seen Thomas? I have a good strain I want him to take to Arlesborough for me. Thomas? Thomas! Has anyone seen Thomas? He could have bust into some buffet or dropped down into a mine. Or rolled into the ocean cause he passed a danger sign. He could be stuck inside a tunnel with no steam to move at all. Or crashed into a station master's house. Right through a wall. He could have strayed into a woodland on a track that's overgrown. Or found a secret tunnel to some island that's unknown. That doesn't make any sense. How could 
there be an island around here that's unknown? What if it was always covered in mist? Hmm? Oh, that sounds very mysterious. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> could be caught up in a landslide. Or have fallen off a bridge. Or try to climb a mountain. And be stuck up on a ridge. He could have been derailed when he was trying to win a race. Imprisoned in a steel world. Or be lost in outer space. Fat controller to Major Thomas. Come in, Major Thomas. Stop messing around. You're causing confusion and delay. He could have gone off to some other place that we don't even know. He could be almost anywhere. Oh, where did Thomas go? We don't know, sir. Well, keep looking. He could be anywhere, anywhere's Thomas. He could be anywhere, anywhere's Thomas. He could be anywhere, anywhere in the sir, sir, I found out what happened to Thomas. All right, Emily, calm down and tell me slowly. Thomas went down to the dock, sir, and, and Carly loaded him onto a ship. She did what? But that means he could be anywhere in the world. He could be checking out the pyramids while floating down the Nile, or in the outback of Australia with a crocodile. He could be in Paris sitting by the Eiffel Tower, or chilling in Antarctica. Wouldn't last an hour. He could be in the Himalayas taking in the mountain air, or acting like a tourist in the heart of Times Square. Are there tracks there? Of course. The subway goes right through it. <gasps> you mean he's gone underground? Hello? Hello? He could be in Rio de Janeiro as the carnival goes by, or out on Easter Island saying hi to a Mawai. Hi. Hi. He could be on an African safari racing a zebra, or in Venice on a gondola. Don't be preposterous. He's a tank engine. He can't fit in a gondola. Well, he could if it was a rather large gondola. He could be wrestling a sumo in a match in Tokyo. He could be almost anywhere. Oh, where did Thomas go? We still don't know, sir. Well, we have to find him. He's my number one engine. He could be anywhere, anywhere's Thomas. He could be anywhere, anywhere's Thomas. He could be anywhere, anywhere in the world. Oh, Thomas, where could you be? You're in Africa now, Thomas! <laughs> what do you reckon? Welcome to Dakar, Senegal! Wow, Ace, I love it! The ships, the people, the sounds, the smells... Everything! Whoa! That woman's carrying a pot on her head! And look at all those camels! Oh, Ace, I'm so glad you invited me to come with you! Yeah, well, you know what they say, the world is your oyster! Is it? What's an oyster? Isn't that some kind of fish? That's just a saying, Thomas. Excuse me! But I'm in a hurry here, mate! Easy! Africa is continent number one. This first cross-country rally is a race across the Sahara. Just miles and miles of hot, sandy desert. I hope they have lots of water towers. Yes, and that's only the start. The run continues on to Dar es Salaam on the other side of Africa. And then we catch a ship to Rio for the next rally. Dar es Salaam? Rio? It's all so exciting. I still can't believe we're actually doing this! Hey, guys! Oh, hey! hey! Tony! Angelique! How are you? What tyres are you using? How are you navigating? I fitted extra fuel tanks. And water. Last thing we want to do is end up overheating out there. I'm Thomas! <laughs> Good for you! <laughs> I'm coming with you! You? <laughs> Across the Sahara? <laughs> How can a railway engine cross a big, sandy desert? <laughs> Ace invited me. 
No, I didn't. Hey, <laughs> you just got the wrong end of the stick shit. Four cars to the start line. Why would I say you could come with me across the Sahara when there aren't any tracks? No tracks? But you told me that... And as the contestants prepare to slide up, we can feel the excitement mounting this one. Ace, you told me there would be tracks. I told you about the five rallies and you told me oh, you wanted to see the world. Dead so go see it. No! Ace! Wait for me in Dar es Salaam! Uh, wherever that is. Oh. Dar es Salaam? Dar es Salaam? Are you going to Dar es Salaam? Ah! We've been waiting for you! Me? Really? Okay. We were hoping somebody could take us to Dar es Salaam. But, um. I don't even know where Dar es Salaam is. We do. That's where, where we, we came, came from. from. So you are the new engine? Well, I... You look smaller, slower, and much, much less useful than the engine I was expecting, eh? How are you going to pull so many trucks, eh? A little engine like you, eh? This is not too many trucks for me. If they can show me the way to Dar es Salaam, I can get them there. You, you told, told him. him? Yes, that's the spirit. <laughs> but why would it be okay to load Thomas onto a ship that was going to Africa, Carly? Thomas told me that he asked you about it, sir. He said that you thought it was a good idea. A good idea? What did I say was a good idea? The Thomas be the first railway engine to go right around the world? Uh, uh. Oh dear, oh dear. I need to find Thomas and bring him back before something happens to him. Uh, I need to be on the next ship for Dakar. Oh, yes, sir. No! Oh. No, Carly! <laughs> what are you doing? You don't know people on the ship if you're up. Uh, oh, yeah, that's it. Uh, all right. Sorry, <laughs> sir. Oh. oh. Where in the world are you, Thomas? <laughs> See? Didn't I say I could do it? <laughs> To Dar es Salaam. Really? Hmm. I thought they would have sent a bigger engine. I've pulled a lot more trucks than this back on the island of Solo. <laughs> Dar es Salaam. Okay, we have some more trucks for you. Come on. Dar es Salaam. 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 Oh. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> you shouldn't look so surprised. There are always a lot of trucks for Dar es Salaam, you know. But usually they send a bigger engine, not a little one like you. Luckily, I like to be helpful wherever I can. And it's not very busy around here at the moment. So that means I can help you. Two engines are much better than one, you know. <laughs> I don't need any help. I can do this by myself. Oh, OK. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings.
actually travel much faster than this. Maybe some help would have been a good idea. Why have they given us such a small engine? I'm not that small. Be patient. I can do this. Now I realize why everyone kept saying this was a difficult job. It's because of trucks like you, always complaining about everything. Oh, oh, this really is a job for a much engine. I've got you. She's got you. She's got you. What did I tell you, Mr. Blue Tank Engine? I knew you'd need help. She knew you'd need help. She knew you'd need help. She knew you'd, you'd need, need help. help. I don't need help. I was managing just fine. He, he doesn't, doesn't need, need help. help. He doesn't need help. He doesn't need help. Oh, I see. I didn't realize you were going backwards for fun. I do that sometimes too, you know. Whee! you can't see. Don't you think so? Hmm. Should I call you Mr. Blue Tank Engine or do you have a name? My name is Nia. Well, I'm called Thomas and I can pull this train by myself. Goodbye, Nia. If you want to go faster, you should still let me help you. After all, it's a long way to Dar es Salaam. 5,000 miles. It's 5,000 miles. It's 5,000 miles. Thousand miles? Hey, hey! The trucks can help you, you know. Oh, of course they can. Trucks love to be helpful, just like you do. You trucks! Don't any of you know any songs to help pass the time? This is going to be a very long journey without any music. And Big Blue Tank Engine Thomas is getting grumpy already. He needs a bit of cheering up. Such a lovely day, you got a job to do. Maybe you don't wanna do it, but hey, hey, hey. If you wanna be happy, tell me what's stopping you. When you're grumpy, you're in your own way. There's oh so much to discover. If you open your eyes, you might even uncover your own smile. Do you really want to be strong? A bad mood is like a blindfold, it covers up your eyes, it makes the world around you dark as night. Just shake it off until you move around You can do it if you try You see it all in a new light Wake up So come be Thomas Cheer up in the sky Wake up So come be Thomas Or the rest of the world gon' pass you by Don't let the world pass you by Cause you lost your mind and you're going to Thomas, you need to be careful about animals on the tracks. <laughs> I know all about that. We get animals on the tracks all the time back on Sodor. I just give a little peep on my whistle and they soon get off the tracks again.
beautiful sky. Don't let the world pass you by. <laughs> Africa is a wonderful country. Africa is not a country, Thomas. Africa is a continent. We've passed through many different countries already, and we'll pass through even more before we reach Dar es Salaam. That you are used to animals on the tracks. Yes, but we don't have ginormous sized elephants on Sodor. Well, I wouldn't advise you to blow your whistle at him. He might charge at you. Uh, maybe we should go a different way. I can't see any other way to go right now. Can you? These tracks are very different to the ones we have back on Sodor. They aren't nearly as troublesome. That's what we've been saying. Africa is an amazing continent and very different to your Sodor. Yes, uh, is a blue tank engine. He has uh, the number one painted on the side of him. Yes. Oh, oh do you not remember seeing him? Uh, he, he was following some racing cars. Uh, oh. Racing cars? Huh? Ah, racing cars went off into the Sahara. Did you see what happened to the other day? The Sahara? <laughs> Indeed. Ah, the desert? Uh, is there even a railway track through the Sahara? Ah, ah, hey, hey, give that back. <laughs> oh, you must forgive uh, Jim. <laughs> he loves to try new kinds of foods. So here we are, Thomas. This is Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. We're home! Great! Okay, everybody. Now, you need to keep your eyes open for my friend. You can't miss him. He's bright yellow, so he looks really cool. And he can spin around really fast. He's called Ace. <gasps> Ace? Who's Ace? Oh, I thought you didn't know anybody in Africa, eh? I thought you'd never been here before. No, I haven't. Ace and I came to Africa together, Nia. We're going to go all the way around the world. Together? You're going around the world together? I thought you wanted to do everything by yourself. I thought you didn't need any help. Well, Ace isn't helping me. It's just that he's racing on five different continents. Hello! Hey! Hello! Is that Ace? No, no, no! It's my friend, Kweku! Nia? Is that really you? Oh, I wonder if your friend Kweku's seen Ace! Nia! How are you? <laughs> All very well, thank you, Kweku! Excuse me! Hey, how are your wheels? How is your boiler? How are your pistons? Have the tracks been taking you where you want to go? And are your fellow engines treating you well? <laughs> yes, they are, thank you! And how are you? How are your wheels? How's your boiler? How are your pistons? <laughs> Have the tracks been taking you where you want to go? And are your fellow engines treating you well? <laughs> Everything and everyone is pretty good today. Thank you, Nia. Wow, you two take a long time to say hello. <laughs> hey, have you found a new shed where you can live yet? Excuse me, uh, but can I just ask you something quick? <laughs> Please, Kwaku. <laughs> I suppose you better, huh? <laughs> Before you burn your boiler dry. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen a little yellow racing car called Ace around here? I'm supposed to be meeting him. Hmm. There were lots of racing cars here earlier. There were? 
<laughs> you should have seen them near, <laughs> zipping about the yard like mosquitoes, back and forth across the tracks. Zip, zip, <laughs> zip. <laughs> <laughs> and? Well, they're all gone now. <laughs> so the yard is quiet again. <laughs> Personally, I prefer it that way. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. I have to be on my way again. <laughs> hey, goodbye, Nia. <laughs> goodbye, Nia's friend. <laughs> goodbye, Kweku. See you soon. Oh, Ace must have gone ahead without me. Hmm. He doesn't sound like a very good friend. Oh, what do you mean? Ace is a great friend. He's fast and exciting and he does what he wants. He's a racing car, Nia. Free and easy. It was probably just too slow getting here with all those trucks to pull. So what are you going to do now, Thomas? Can I help? No, Nia. No, you can't. You might as well go home now, okay? I'll just find a ship and go to Rio by myself. Wherever that is. I thought you were going home again. You're not supposed to be on this ship. Cheer up. I'm coming with you. In case you meet another angry elephant or something, you know. <laughs> and anyway, I've always wanted to see the world too. What? what? That was my idea. You're not the only one who can have ideas, Thomas. I've always wanted to visit other places. There are so many things to see and discover. In China, they have mountains that look like rainbows. Really? Rainbow mountains? I know! Doesn't that sound amazing? But Ace said I was going to be the first railway engine to go all the way around the world. Then I can be the second. Besides, why isn't Ace here, huh? Why isn't he helping you? Because... Well, I don't need any help. Everybody needs help, Thomas. Too late now, anyway. <laughs> Looks like you're stuck with me instead of him, huh? Glad you could make it. Glad I could make it? I didn't know where you'd gone or which ship to get on. And I don't even know where to go next after Rio. Well, that's the best way. Free and easy. Take it as it comes. But why didn't you wait for me? You didn't need me to wait for you. I knew you'd figure it out by yourself. You want to be a free spirit, don't you, Thomas? Like me, seeing the sights, doing your own thing. You don't need any baggage to tie you down. Baggage? What baggage? I heard you two talking. All I'm saying is don't let anyone get in your way. You don't want someone else telling you what to do. You want to have fun, don't you? See him, poor Thomas. I should get a little shut-eye before the next race. Good night, mate. Thomas, South America, ole! The next race is a cross-country rally which goes through the Amazon. The rainforest. A train forest? <gasps> Does that mean there are tracks there? Of course! <laughs> 
There are bound to be tracks. It's not hot, dry sand. So that means I can come with <laughs> you. <laughs> Time to get fueled up for the race, Thomas. Was that Ace? Yes. He's getting fueled up for the race through the Amazon. Oh, and I need to get fueled up too, or I'll be left behind again. Okay, okay. Where are you going, my friend? I'm going through the Amazon. The Amazon? With what cargo? Um, uh, I don't have any cargo. I'm just following the rally. Do you know Ace? He's one of the racing cars. I don't know anything about racing cars. I work on the railway. And we don't give out coal and water to engines unless they're doing something useful. Oh, but I can be really useful. I'm always pulling goods trains or passenger coaches back on Sodor. Hmm, well, I've got a good strain going through the Amazon bound for San Francisco. If you can take that, you can fill up with all the coal and water you need. It's up to you to get this cargo to San Francisco on time. Oh, past my buffers. That's an awful lot of coffee. But I am a really useful engine. Okay, I'll do it. I thought your friend was helping you. Who? Ace? No! Me! Oh, it's you again. I might have known. We can take this coffee to San Francisco together. Oh, fine. Then get coupled up. We need to hurry anyway if we're going to catch up with Ace. We're friends! Anywhere I go. Seems like you're gonna go there too, anything I do. You're always gonna do that too. It doesn't really matter where I may be. I always get this funny feeling that you're following me. But Thomas, we're friends. Nos amigos, nos amigos, nos amigos, nos amigos, nos amigos. to help you too let's stick together we are stronger as two let's stick together that's what good friends do we're friends nos somos amigos somos amigos we're friends nos somos amigos no tenemos que ser amigos we're friends Everyone. I'm just saying hello. Look, maybe we should stop soon for water. Stop for water? Honestly, Nia, we don't have time for you to stop and fill your water tanks. It's not for me. I have extra tanks, Thomas, but you must be running low by now. We're in a hurry, Nia. We're trying to catch up with... Oh, Ace! <laughs> Woohoo! Faster, Nia! Come on! We need to keep up!
This is the way the ladies ride. Pessy, 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 pessy. <laughs> this is the way the gentlemen ride. Tip top, tip top, tip top, tip top. <laughs> and this is the way the bombers ride. <laughs> oh, a lady from Ireland taught me that. A good, isn't it? Are you sure Thomas actually came this way? There aren't any railway tracks. Oh. 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 Water. <laughs> I feel like a speedboat. What happened? Oh, nothing to worry about, mate. Uh, just a little accident. One of the hazards of rallying, you know? <laughs> I'll make up for lost time on the next race. But uh, what are you going to do now? What do I always do? I wait until help arrives. The mechanic's car should be along. D did you hear something, Thomas? I heard something moving in the bushes. Actually, help has arrived, hasn't it, mate? Has it? I don't see anybody. <laughs> I think he means us, Thomas. I think Ace wants us to help him. He's frightened. <laughs> no, I'm not. I just don't get scared that easily. I mean, it's just that I, I need to get out of here uh, to get my bumper straightened. Uh, plus, I think I've got two flat tyres, but only one spare and... 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 There's a wild animal coming! I don't like wild animals! <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's only a little monkey. Oh, look at him! Hello! Help, Thomas! Load me up! <laughs> Put me on a truck! I need to get out of here! Which way you're heading next, anyway? Yeah, I'm out of this race, but if I can get fixed up and taken to the salt flats in time, I can... What are you doing? Why are you stopping here? Oh, sorry, but my tank is empty. This is serious, folks. We need to keep going. But we can't go anywhere if Thomas doesn't have water. I can't pull the whole train by myself, and I'm going to need water soon, too. I should have stopped at that water tower. <gasps> Maybe we can use leaves. Leaves? Yes. Leaves can be used to make all kinds of things. Baskets, toys, clothes, and even houses. Leaves can be very useful materials, and they have some really big leaves here in the rainforest. So we could make a funnel and funnel rainwater into your water tank, Thomas. Um, 
Has anyone seen this tank engine? Uh, uh, glue with the number one on the side of him. Uh, he's called Thomas. A blue engine? No, but I have an orange hat. Oh. May I? Uh, oh, 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 not again! Oh, oh, oh. Yes, I've seen that tank engine. Oh. I loaded him onto a ship heading for Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Brazil? Oh, good hat. A coffee must be coming. <laughs> Chance? I mean, I do like to keep my paintwork dry if I can, at least while I'm not driving. Maybe we could make you a rain cover from leaves. <laughs> that might not be such a good idea, you know, Thomas. Wild animals like to take shelter <laughs> under leaves. Ace doesn't like wild animals. <laughs> what happened there? Don't ask me, I have no idea at all! The ground is moving! The ground is too wet and too soft! Hurry, Thomas! Push on! We must find solid ground or we'll get stuck! Stop! You heard what the truck said! Come on, Nia! Work harder! All steam together, Thomas! Nice going! Thank you! Never to travel as a passenger again. I feel a lot safer when it's me own wheels on the road. <laughs> Good thing you don't get scared, eh, Ace? I wasn't saying I was scared. <laughs> well, I definitely was. That was scary. Yes, it was. But we managed to make it. We're a good team, eh? Aren't we, Thomas? That's not what I was trying to say. How can I put this? Well, I know you've taken on a plate full So please, don't think that I'm ungrateful You know, I set my pride aside To let you take me on this ride But I cannot get used to being your caboose Because I still like to decide Where I go as well as when If I'm ever coming back again What matters most to me is living not completely free
doing? Wherever I want to, mate. I'm a free spirit. I follow the sun. Give me my Independence Day. Oh, no one in my face or in my way. When it's time for me to fly, don't expect a Yes, I saw this engine. He was the one taking the coffee to San Francisco. San Francisco? That's what I just said. Oh, oh. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> mm. You really need to take me straight to the Utah Salt Flats. That's where the next rally's gonna be held. North America, continent number three. But we're meant to be being useful, Ace. People are waiting for this coffee in San Francisco. The Salt Flats are not on our way. You can make them be on your way if you want to. And delivering Ace would be really useful too, Nia. Only for Ace. And it's also important to keep your promises, Thomas. There are people waiting for this coffee. Well, I'll tell you something that's even more important than being useful or keeping promises. Having fun. And racing is fun. Isn't that right, Thomas? I know how to have fun too, you know. Want to know something else that's fun? No, 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 no! Never you mind now, darling. No harm done. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it is very hard to see through the trees. But he's a steam engine, correct? So perhaps we might spot the steam coming up. Oh, oh, is that him? Over there? No, that's just a cooking fire in a village. Oh. That was a bit dangerous back there, guys. All that foolishness going backwards on the slope. I thought you liked danger, Ace. I saw the way you were taking those corners back in the rainforest. Yeah, well, that's different. That's racing, and racing has different rules. It's every car for himself, and we're all our own bosses, if you know what I mean. Nobody's coupled up to anybody else. Hey, you should try it. You and Thomas should split the train in two, and each pull your own half of it. Free and easy. But we're all going to...
to San Francisco together. Of course we are. But we'd get there quicker if you were racing now. And the coffee would definitely get delivered on time. Unless you're worried that you can't keep up with Thomas. Of course I can. Beautiful. Now that's more like it. Let's deliver this coffee as fast as we can. Everybody ready? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> How about you, Nia? Think you can keep up with Thomas? Watch me go. On your marks. Get set. yourself, Thomas. Let her get ahead a bit. Why? It's a race. Because we're gonna play a little trick on Nia. What kind of trick? A joke, Thomas. Come on. Don't be a baby. It'll be funny and fun. You'll see. Turn off here. Okay, Ace. By the... Where are we going? The Salt Flats. The Salt Flats? with Nia. It wasn't nice to play a trick on her. Well, would you look at you. No wonder you're lying in the dust, cowboy. This is not the Wild West anymore. There's a speed limit for a reason. Yes, I know. We were going too fast. But somebody needs to fetch the breakdown crane. Breakdown crane? Breakdown crane? <laughs> hey, you sure do talk funny. Where are y'all from, anyway? The island of Sodor. Well, we, we don't get many breakdown cranes around here. <gasps> but 
What happens when a train comes off the rails? Well, uh, sometimes they just lie there in the dust and get dusty, like you. Unless it rains, of course. Then they tend to lie there in the mud and get rusty. <laughs> dusty or rusty! <laughs> or, if there's enough folk to do it, we use people power to lift them back onto the rails. People power? Sure, people power, horse power, whatever. Just as long as we can find the people or the horses. <laughs> Wait! Come back! I really hope that Nia is okay. Do they have wild animals here? A snake? Some Howdy! <laughs> <laughs> it's horsepower, race And people power! <laughs> Help has arrived! Thomas? <laughs> Hope you won't be late for whatever it was you were in such a rush to be getting to now. Oh, thanks again for all your help. Uh, bye! Happy trails! <laughs> they sure do talk funny. <laughs> Uh, he's blue, uh, with a big number one. Uh, perhaps you've seen him, uh, delivering coffee from Brazil. From Brazil? Oh, yes, of course. I know the tank engine that brought the coffee from Brazil. Oh, but she didn't look like that tank engine. Sorry. Uh, oh, oh, thank you anyway. Have a nice day. Oh, Thomas, where are you? Doesn't it look like the moon, Thomas? Don't you feel like you're in outer space? But Ace, what a... Welcome to the Salt Flats, Thomas. The home of speed. I'm not supposed to be in the Salt Flats, Ace. And I'm worried about Nia. We must have hurt her feelings, racing off and leaving her behind like that. Yeah, well, remind me never to do you any favours again, Thomas. Light it up. You know I had to get back here before the next rally. But, <gasps> woo, yeah, these are my people. They can get me fixed up and back on my wheels in no time. Feel the heat, Angelique. My engine is on fire. I'm ready to roll. Continent number three, here we come. Hey, Tony! Hey! Oh, there you are! We thought we lost you back in the Amazon. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. I, I caught the slow train. <laughs> slow? Yeah, it didn't mean to be an old stick in the mud. Oh, Tony didn't finish the Brazilian course either. Oh, don't remind me. By the time they picked me up, I had... 
tiny frogs hopping all over me. Ugh, this is gonna be a hot one. I love the salt flat. What a place for racing. Hey, Thomas, where are you going? I have something important to do. Yeah, but what about the rally? I thought you wanted to be the first railway engine to go all the way around the world. Oh, that doesn't matter now. I've got to find Nia and say sorry. Oh, really? But sure, maybe I'll see you in China. Asia, continent number four. You oh, have to complete this course first, Ace. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I bet you're glad it's a dry one. Mama Bumper, I think it's a bit loose. <laughs> Good luck in the rally, Ace. Thanks. See you, mate. Welcome to California, the Golden State. My name is Natalie, and I'll be your shunter today. Anything I can help you with? Coal, water, piston grease? Actually, yes, there is. I'm looking for a tank engine called Nia. She was bringing coffee from Brazil. She's orange and has two extra cylinder tanks. Hmm. Now, let me see. We do get a lot of engines passing through here, you know. Ah, yes! I remember that one. From Kenya. Super helpful. Oh, yes! That's her! Do you know where she is? Yes. She said she was going to China. China? How am I ever going to find her now? I guess she wanted to be super helpful someplace else. Thanks! <laughs> oh, Thomas! Uh I heard Thomas's whistle. Huh? Huh? Oh. Excuse me, Mr. Crane. Uh huh. You have to load me onto a ship bound for China straight away. Oh, do I now? Please. I'm trying to catch up with someone, someone I need to talk to. That's some distance to go for a talk. Must be a good friend. Yes. She is. Sometimes you make a friend The kind of friend who stays Sometimes you make a friend And you're the one who goes away Sometimes you're the one who acts a bit unkind You didn't think And you did something You can't forget and can't rewind I'm sorry, so sorry And I don't know what to do With you so far away I'm sorry, so sorry And as soon as exactly what I'm going to say. I'm sorry. I hope you're still my friend. I'm sorry. So sorry, my friend. you make a friend the kind of friend you need you try to make them happy but you don't always succeed sometimes you're the one who does something that's not okay sometimes you hurt a friend and you don't know what to do or say Hello, aren't you Thomas from the island of Sodor? I think I met you at the Great Railway Show. Oh, hello! I remember you, your young Bao. That's right. But what are you doing in China, Thomas? Oh, I'm looking for a friend. A friend from Sodor? No, a friend from Africa. 
I met a steam engine from Africa this morning. Huh? <gasps> you did? Yes. She was heading for Danye Dansia. Danye Dansia? Yes, the Rainbow Mountains. The Rainbow Mountains! Of course! Thanks! Thanks! If you're going to the mountains, you'll need a snowplow! when I did, Thomas. Oh, Nia. I should never have tried to rescue you by myself. That was really dangerous. I needed help. Everybody needs help sometimes, Thomas. <laughs> Even me! And we're all safe now. 
thanks to Yong Bao. I still can't believe how close that was. You really gave me a fright, Thomas. Let's never do that again, okay? <laughs> Fine with me, Yong Bao. I'm just glad you're bigger and stronger than I am. We are bigger and stronger too, Thomas, when we stay together. So where are you going now, Thomas? Back to Sodo. And then Thomas will be the first railway engine to go all the way around the world. <laughs> no, Nia. We both will be. If you want to go to Sodo, you have to go west through Asia and Europe. So, Europe must be the last continent on your route, Thomas. Continent, continent number five. five. <laughs> Thanks, Young Bao. Bye. Go safely now. Go. I hope you're gonna go there too. Anything I do, please won't you come and do it too? It doesn't really matter where we may be. It makes me really happy knowing that you'll be there with me. We're friends. We're friends. We're friends. We're friends. Yes, it is. Thomas? India? Back to Sodor? Thank you! What's wrong, Thomas? On the other side of that bridge is Sodor, Nia. And when I get there, I'll be home again. But I guess that means that you'll have to go home again, too. That's not so easy for me, Thomas. The shed I used to live in isn't even there anymore. It isn't? No, Thomas. I don't really have a home to go back to. You don't? Oh, Nia, I'm so sorry. But... That means you can come and stay on Sodor with me. I'm sure the Fat Controller won't mind. He loves having new engines to help out on his railway. Come on, Nia. Welcome to Sodor. I'm coming. So long, we thought you were never going to come home. Even I missed you, Thomas. Congratulations, Thomas. Oh, and who might this be? Oh, Mr. Percival. This is my friend Nia. I wouldn't have made it without her. Hi, Nia. Hello. Welcome to Sodor. <laughs> Thank you. And hello to all of you, too. Nia is going to be staying here with us. I just need to speak to the Fat Controller. But I thought he'd be with you. Me? Why me? Because he went looking for you. We thought he must have found you and was bringing you home again. So, if he's not with you, then where in the world is he? Oh. I don't suppose you've seen this tank engine. Blue, with the number one on the side of him. He's called... Thomas! He could have bust into some buffers or dropped down into a mine. Or rolled into the ocean because he passed a danger sign. Could be stuck inside a tunnel with no steam to move at all. Or crashed into a station master's house. Right through a wall. He could have strayed into a woodland on a track that's overgrown. Or found a secret tunnel to some island that's unknown. That doesn't make any sense. 
How could there be an island around here that's unknown? What if it was always covered in mist? Hmm? Oh, that sounds very mysterious. Oh. <laughs> it could be caught up in a landslide. Or have fallen off a bridge. Or try to climb a mountain. And be stuck up on a ridge. He could have been derailed when he was trying to win a race. Imprisoned in a steelworks. Or be lost in outer space. Fat controller to Major Thomas. Come in, Major Thomas. Stop messing around. You're causing confusion and delay. He could have gone off to some other place that we don't even know. He could be almost anywhere. Where did Thomas go? We don't know, sir. Well, keep looking. 